Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the magical world of Ghibli style art by creating stunning anime grass in Blender. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced artist, this tutorial will guide you step by step to achieve that beautiful, hand painted look. So, let's jump in and bring some Ghibli magic to our 3D scenes. First add a plane and scale it. Then go to the particles panel, add a particle, select its type as hair, and reduce its length. Then go to render properties and select the strip and curve. Back in the particle properties, change the diameter root value in the hair shape to 3.4 meters. Then go to children, select simple, and set the display amount and render amount to 50. Then go down to clumping and increase the clump value a little. Then press Shift A, go to the force field, add the wind and rotate it a little. Then go back to the force field and add turbulence. Move the turbulence backwards on the x-axis and add a keyframe. Go to the end of the timeline and move the turbulence forward on the x-axis and add a keyframe again. Adding two types of forces will give our grass a very good movement boost. Now it's time for texturing. For this, go to the shading workspace and add a new texture. First, add the image texture node. The link to the image I am adding will be found in the description below. Then select this image. Then add texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Connect the UV to the vector and connect the mapping vector to the image texture vector. And then connect the image texture to the material output. Then add a hue saturation value node and connect it between the image texture and the material output. Change its values as you wish, like I am doing. Now as you can see our Ghibli style grass is perfectly ready. And that's it. Now you know how to create beautiful Ghibli style grass in Blender. I hope you had fun and learned something new. If you want to keep improving your Blender skills, be sure to subscribe, practicing regularly is the best way to get better. If you have any questions or want to share your work, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.